Welcome back, everybody, to the Dream League Soccer subreddit. The last time I did this, it was really, really fun. Even if it didn't perform that great, we're going to be doing it again because I just love it. And since it's already like the middle of September and Dream League Soccer 2025 is around the corner in a couple months, we are going to be making a sort of a theme for this video, which is us not liking Dream League Soccer 2024 and hoping it's better in 2025. So we're gonna be looking at memes, videos, and just rants all about how bad Dream League Soccer is right now, but there is a glimmer of hope because the update will be coming out fairly soon and maybe things will get better. The Dream League Soccer script is on its highest level. Okay, here we go. All right, what, what are we gonna see here in Dream League Soccer? And oh, and oh my goodness. Okay, I, honestly, if you hit the, the post for the third time, that would have been even better. And I'm kind of sad you scored. But this is truly the most Dream League Soccer clip where you hit the post twice and you still score. The AI in real world scenarios be like, I mean, it's, they're, they're just impossible to beat, man. And I just give up every time. And you know what? It sucks because they're impossible to beat and they make you pay 20 coins each time after you lose the first time. Like, why are you taking my money? My manager decides to take things into his own hands, literally. I mean, I I'm hoping you could pass to him and he can go on and score. That would be kind of epic. Ronaldo has officially scored 900 career goals. Do you think this could influence first touch games to give him 84? I bet he'll be 82. Wait, what the heck? Just lost 1-0. He had one shot, one goal. I had 20 shots on target, no goals. I won't be on for a while, lads. Sometimes the games just feel this way. Although, I don't know if that's really First Touch Games' fault. It's kind of just you just got unlucky. How to destroy sea spammers in Dream League Soccer 24. Please enlighten me. Today, I'll be showing footage of a typical game in Tier 1, and I can't read fast enough. Great. So, OP is purple, and my opponent is yellow, and yeah, see, that is just a full-on sea abuser and all this, you know, new meta stuff. All right, let's see the new meta once again. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> I think, I think this is less, this happens less. I'm not sure on anymore. I haven't played in a while. Um, wow, that is, that, that, I didn't even realize that it was that bad. All right, let's see it once again. And yeah, the old over the top through ball. And okay, it's, it's 3-1 right now. Now, great video showing all the gameplay aspects we don't really like in Dream League Soccer. But I will say this isn't really how you destroyed C spammers because they still did C spammers and it worked. And I mean, you just scored more goals. I guess I'm just a critic. Okay, so I have seen posts of this. Um, obviously, I haven't played the game enough to experience this um, because I stopped playing on my Road to Glory series, newsflash. But there is a new match limit. Um, you played 70 games today. I think that is still pretty high. Um, I don't remember if I've ever played more than 70 when I was grinding on my uh, Road to Glory series. Now, one thing that I can't do anymore is that you know, playing for 24 hours video anymore. Okay, it seems like people have common sense and uh, yeah, 70 games is a lot. And uh, yeah, basically first such game is telling you to go touch some grass. <laughs> I know the theme is about what we don't like about Dream Lake Soccer 2024 and what we can probably improve in Dream Lake Soccer 2025, but you know, this is fine. I think we're okay. Biggest scam in history. I mean, they still have these for the longest of time. I guess at this point it's like, if you just have the gems or just the money laying around and you just want like just some gambling experience on the game, then just do this. But otherwise, like there is no good reason to buy these. Someone tell me who is actually doing this. Um, I mean, I think they can keep it in the game. Uh, it's fine because there will be one person that'll do it. But with the match restrictions of how many you can do in a day, this definitely makes it harder, but not impossible. Like people do it and you know, they are rewarded for their hard work and grinding of the game, but like I, they can keep it in. Okay, they, they don't, it's, it's fine. It's just a little bit of temptation and it's just like, it, it makes us feel bad that we're not grinding as much, but like you don't have to do it. Okay, it's okay. Most people don't do it. All right, now it's time to get into the nitty gritty. I have filtered by rant and we're gonna be seeing some real stuff right now, and it's it's not gonna be pretty. Maybe it, maybe it will be, I don't know. Worst technical coach, Messi got trained on tackling, and Rudiger got uh, uh, trained on ball control and shooting. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've seen anything worse. But unfortunately, that's just the way coaching works. Maybe they'll make an adjustment in Dream League Cyber 2025, if it is, in fact, a new game. We don't really know. It has been five years, so maybe. We, I, I mean, it's probably more likely than ever. The random coaching definitely has its flaws, but, that, you know, 
I, I've, I've stated this many times before. Dream League Soccer is getting boring. Here we go. Live games are just toxic dumpster with brain rot C spamming. I wouldn't say all live games are that way, but... I, I see his point. But my main concern is in career mode. It is so easy, even without mediocre teams, I can win the game. I don't even shoot with A and tackle with B. I still win 15 out of 15. AI should be very tough, at least should outskill us, make some skill moves, which they almost never do it. I think if they made career mode, like the with the AI, or at least like, like maybe after you've beaten it a couple times, with the AI that they use in real time scenarios, like, that would be insane. And honestly, I would really like to see how that would go. Like, just imagine if you beat the game, like, with easy AI the first time, and then it just, like, tells you, okay, the difficulty is going to increase now, and uh, all the games in Legendary Division are, like, the real, real-world scenarios. I think that would be kind of fun. So yeah, the main complaint is that online sucks, you know, maybe you don't have the best connection and, you know, uh, the, the new meta is not very fun to play when everybody just exploits it. So you'd rather just play against AI and well, AI is too easy. So maybe just have some mode where you can have difficult AI, which is what real world scenarios are. It's just, I, I would hope it would just be more permanent. Now, as much as I complain about real world scenarios, I think we are on the right track with um, just the difficulty and how fun it is to actually beat them. Now, I do I not I do not like, you know, having to pay 20 coins and have it, you know, uh, hijack your um, <laughs> scenario slot, so you can't even play regular scenarios until you beat the real world scenario, but if you make it its own separate mode, I think it will appeal to some players and, you know, the, like, like the whole extreme mode I've been pitching. Is it just me or is it really the lowest point Dream League Soccer has ever hit so far? After that mini update, I, I somehow perform worse no matter what I play. Seriously, I performed better even before I upgraded my players. It really makes no sense. They don't even make an effort to high scripted BS anymore. So I think we can end off with this post right now um, because, you know, I don't like to spread negativity about this game. I, I mean, I do it because negativity performs well on YouTube, okay? You've, you, you've seen the titles of my videos, all right? It's, it's bad. I get sucked in because I want the algorithm to recommend it, okay? Because if you look at Dream League Soccer and its worldwide interest over the past five years, I guess you can say it's at a little bit of a low point right now, but like compared to like 2022, it's higher. Like obviously compared to the highs of 2023 when like Dreaming Soccer 2023 just came out, it is at a lower point, um, at least according to Google Trends, but like it's, it, I, it's not, it's, it's still probably relatively high. It's just low relative to this point. So do I think this is the lowest point for it? Probably not. I think it's just that the game has been out for so long and so many people have had max teams for the longest of time and they're just not playing it anymore because there's, there's not enough new content every single year and that's understandable, okay? But I am so thankful for the community, even if it does get negative at times, and even if I do play into making negative videos, especially like this one, I mean, I'm gonna title it so negative to make people click on it, but do I really hate the game? No, I mean, it made my channel, I can't really hate it. So yeah, I am interested to see what they do in Dreaming Soccer 2025 and, you know, see what they wanna do with their game and how they want to please people, because you can't please everyone, and, you know, I'm not the biggest voice either, but I, I think we should make this video sort of a positive thing and looking forward to Dream League Soccer 2025. And, uh, yeah. Subscribe if you're new for some more Dream League Soccer 2024 content until Dream League Soccer 2025, of course. And I'll see you guys in the next one.